Alright, what's going on Giants fans? Doing another, another free agent film breakdown. This time of offensive guard, right guard, Zach Fulton. Zach Fulton, he's 6'5", 320, uh, 321 pounds, 29 years old, been in the league for 7 years, 4 years with the Chiefs, 3 years with the Texans. Started 97 career games when you include the playoffs. Um, he played college at Tennessee where uh, Derek Dooley, who's the Giants tight end coach, was his head coach for three years there, so there's a little bit of a connection. What you're getting with Zach Fulton, I don't view this as like, oh, this is an answer. I don't, I don't view Zach Fulton as a as an answer. I view him as an option. You know, if they would have went and got Trey Turner, I'm like, okay, that guy's they're planning on him starting. But right now, and we'll go through the film in a second. I rank Will Hernandez as at the guard in the guard room as the clear number one. Will Hernandez one, and then Fulton two. And Lemieux, a, a, a close behind three. A close behind three, based off of 2020. 2020, Fulton, PFF credited with 11 sacks, um, where in 2019 only had one. But based off of 2020, I would go Fulton two, and then Lemieux three. But Lemieux with the possibility to pass that up. As a run blocker, I think Lemieux is clearly better. As a pass blocker, Fulton's better, but... It's not because he's some great pass blocker. It's because Lemieux has had real struggles. And then I do think Will Hernandez is the clear number one out, out of that group. Um, so I view this as competition. I don't know if this... I don't think this will sway the Giants from making any you know, decision in the draft. You know, or stopping them from picking a guard or, or whoever. But I think this is just depth and an option if there's not a guard there that they want. Whether it's first round, second round, third round. And that's when you're looking for your immediate impacts is in those first three rounds. And if there's not a guard they want there, they're like, okay, we, we got Fulton. We'll let him battle with Lemieux. So anyways, let's get into the film. First, like, subscribe. I say it every time. Subscribe now. If you don't like me at the end of the video, unsubscribe. It's easy. So first, we're going to go through his pass blocking. And we'll go through some of the... Um, with, this is this is kind of scattered where it's, it's good and bad. And then we'll go through um, how he picks up stunts and then the run blocking. So he is the right guard. We go first play. Something I notice is he stops his feet. Like, this is good. You're playing the full man. That's good feet, good wide base, good punch inside. That's good. And then watch how that that initial like punch from the defensive lineman gets his left foot up in the air, which you deal with, but then the right foot. It's like then then he recovers. Like I think he's good at recovering. And I think that's the difference between him and Shane Lemieux. He's, he's able to recover a lot of times. But if he moved his feet, you know, he's quicker with his feet, he wouldn't have to recover as much as he does. Well, again, he's going to be lined up in right guard. I don't need to point him out every time. So, good step, but watch. The feet stop. He makes that first step and punch. And now the feet just, the feet stop for a second. And that's all it takes. So then, you know, this looks like a, a good spot for him, but he recovers well. So when he feels the need to recover, his feet are awesome, but he needs to keep them moving. That's I think that's his big issue. But he's, he's good at recovering. Like, he's able to save himself. You know, like mirroring. You even see his feet kind of stop for a second here, too. Like, see how they're, they're stopping? And then it's like, okay, this guy's spinning out. I need to move my feet back again. But he's good at recovering, which Shane Lemieux, as a rookie, wasn't. Stepping with him, playing the full man. Good job. Mirrors, gets back in front of him. Good, good enough rep right there. Good enough rep right there. This play. Okay, so now he's got a bull rush from Cam Hayward, or Cam Hayward's. Using the hop step. That's something Thomas was taught. And it's when you're getting bull rush and you and, and you see how his feet like like he's losing this battle. His feet are, are, are pedaling back. Well literally taking both your feet and jumping in the air. Bam. Bam. That's that's good that's good O line play. Because you know what? You're not gonna win every rep right here. You're not gonna win every rep and sit right here. So how when the defensive lineman wins, are you going to counter that? And he has this in his bag. He has that in his bag. 
So that's like, you know, I think he's a very smart player. Like, I think I think Zach Fulton has a high IQ, and we'll see it with stunts. I think he's a very high IQ player, even in the run game. Got him lined up. I got to stop pointing him out. <laughs> Gets beat on this one bad. Again, he takes that first step, and then the feet are stuck in the mud. The feet are stuck in the mud, and you're not—you can't recover from this. You know, Watson, Watson scrambles, but that's the play where it's like, if he's beating you like that, you can't recover from that. And look who catches the ball. You know who that is? That's our fullback, our 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 guy who's gonna be in a fullback battle, Colin Gillespie, the Earth Day guy. It is Earth Day, my dudes. Did a nice, nice little somersault. How about that? Great somersault. Guy has the best somersaults in the league. Um, next play. Just mirroring the guy. He's got him playing wide outside. Sets out to him. Good job. Gets those hands. Pops. See how this his hands are placed high on him? You don't want your hands like that? You don't want your hands like that. But you see how he, he brings them back in and replaces them and then gets them inside. That's what you want. Keep the feet moving. Good rep. Here he just gives, he gives up a sack. And this is why the feet are a little slow at times. And again, I can't. it's crazy that he went from 2019 only having one sack and then 2000. 20 having 11. PFF's numbers can be a little screwy, and we'll see that in the next game, game we, we go, the the, Indy, the Indianapolis reps. But, still. They're not making them all up. And watch his hands on this one. He leans, and his hands are outside. So that just leaves this D-line to put his right hand there, and then swim over the top. And get a sack. So you just got to be smart about not, not leaning like that and punching outside. Making every motion matter. Because now you got a sack. Now you got to watch your QB sit in the ground. That sucks. That's a horrible feeling as an offensive lineman. So now we're playing against Indy lined up here. And I wanted to go, I wanted to look at the film from some good D lines with Indy and Pittsburgh. First play. Okay, so this play, they credited him for a sack in this game, and I'm not sure which one it was. They credited him for a sack, so this is good. Double teaming. Now he goes to help the right tackle. But the center hasn't slid over yet. And then that player, you know, Armstead ends up making that sack. And like I said, I think he's a very smart player. And I don't know why he left on this. Like you, you, you're both playing half this man. You got to know your center's not going to do that. Like I, I just don't know why he left there. So I, you know, I don't know if I credit him with the sack on that, but also like I, I don't think he did the right thing. Next play. Good recovery. This is where I, this is where I, the difference between him and Shane Lemieux is in the past game, is that this guy does a great move and should win this, but. He realizes it and is there to move with him. He's there to move with him and recover. And it ends up being a good rep for him. Where with Lemieux, that head's falling forward and this guy's going straight at the QB. Now granted, again, Lemieux was a rookie, a fifth round rookie. I doubt Fulton was being able to recover like this his rookie season too. So, you know, I can very well see them being higher on, on Lemieux than Fulton. And this could be a depth move. Lined up here on this one. He just kind of gets bull rushed back in. You see he wants to do the hop step. But he's just got too much traffic around him. And so this is this is one of those plays where everybody sucks except for one player. I could point out a lot of times the Giants had a rep like that. So you got the right tackle getting beat. The left tackle being collapsed in. The right guard uh, and Fulton being and pushed back. So they this might have they might have credited him with this sack to this sack. I don't know which one it was. The this this one or the one where he left the play. I'm not sure on that one. Good rep on this. 
gets clamped on this defensive lineman. The feet stop for a second, but gets him over here. Clamped on. Finish that. Finish a pass rep. Good stuff. Good stuff. Just good hand fight on this rep. I mean, just good hand fight. Keeping those hands inside. Got that right hand. Bring the left back. Bam. Keep the feet moving. Balls out. Good hand fight and good mirroring ability. Okay, you're going inside. I'll see you there. You want to go back out? I'm here. Want to go back in? I'm here. But doesn't finish that one off great. And then on stunts, down lined up here, I think he does a really good job picking these up. And the Giants struggled with this. And this is something that could set him apart from Lemieux. Passes that off beautifully. He's there to pick up the 92. I mean, beautiful stunt pickup on that one. Next one. I mean, it's like he sees these things coming, man. I mean, he's got help from the center on this. Picks up this. You see, he sees... He sees the he sees the defensive end crash in, picks it up. Now the right tackle could pick it up. Bam. Watson shouldn't be dancing with this. He shouldn't be dancing with this one. Good job on the offensive line on that one. Got him lined up here. A lot of times when a guy goes that far inside on you, it's hard to get off that block. You want to finish it. You want to finish off that block. Pops off. Bam. Left tackle through right guard did their job on this play. Left tackle through right guard did their job on this play. Good job picking up the stunt. Now let's let's go through the run game. I think he's a smart run blocker. I don't think he's going to blow anybody up. I do think Shane Lemieux is a better run blocker. I think Shane Lemieux moves guys better. Um, where uh, Fulton has to like kind of pin and pull, you know, pin guys and, and get good guy that has to get better angles. He's never just going to beat guys off the ball. Like on this play. It's a design cutback. Good hat placement. Just kind of moving him down the line. He does get some good movement on that play. But that's, you know, more down the line than getting a guy, you know, trying to work a guy vertically. Here he's pulling. He's not fast. Like this is a very slow pull. But it's effective. Gets the inside shoulder. Doesn't get blown back. He doesn't, you know, you would like to see him move Dupree a little more. But Dupree is one of those guys that comes screaming off the edge. But it's effective. I mean, he does his job on that. The running back has this, the, all this area. Kind of a horrible read on it by the running back, but nonetheless. Got him lined up here on this one. Just good job. Directional. Like, hey, okay. I got to get my helmet across him, and I got to get these, hu these hips to swing around. I just need to pin I just need to pin him, seal him off. Good job. Good job on there. Good combo block, which the Giants use a lot. They use a lot of double teams and combos. I mean good. Just co totally like you want on this to get his helmet on this side of him. And he just gives a nice nice shove right there. <laughs> I mean, just a nice shove right there. Tight end's picking up here, or this, you know, fullback H-back is picking up here. And then now you want to get your head inside of Leonard and clear this out. And that's exactly what he does. Gets his head inside, seals it off. That's not his responsibility on this play. He does his job on this play. These guys are supposed to be working to here. He does his job. That gets blocked right on the back end. You might have yourself a big play. Got him lined up here. Just good combo. Stays on it. Doesn't leave too early. Shoulder, the, you know, working together. Getting that defensive lineman's hips turned. And again, not leaving until he has to. 
leaves this block at this point. And blocking the double into them. Blocking into them. So I think he's a smart run blocker, not a great run blocker. Um, and here's the reps where he is kind of straight up. I got this, this, these ones from Green Bay. He's just never going to move a guy. You know what I'm saying? Like even with help right there. Just kind of flowing into the play. See like lined up here and he's just kind of not, not bad. But he's never going to move a guy off the ball. He's never going to be on his own and move a guy off the ball. And that's where defense alignment can kind of read and react. And that's where you get yourself in trouble. Like when you can't when you can't move a guy off the ball, this defensive lineman is like, okay, he's not pushing me back. So now I have him where I want it. I have my hands inside. Now I'm just gonna read and I'm gonna read and go. Give some help on that one. I don't know why I put that rep in there to be honest. I think I screwed up by putting that rep on there. Anyways, Fulton, okay player. You know, if you look at the numbers, it was a very bad year. Uh, you know, I only went through three games. So, you know, I'm not going to go through all 16 before doing these videos. So, I do think he's a better pass blocker than Lemieux. Has the ability to recover. Uh, run blocking, I would take Lemieux. And then I would take Hernandez over both of them. Like, Hernandez, I think, is, is clear cut better than both these guys. Assuming it's the minimum. I know I said I was going to retire that phrase for contracts. Uh... Good depth piece. I don't think he stops you from doing anything in the draft, but I think he gives you a little insurance. So, um, hope you liked the video. If you like it, again, likey, subscribey, all that good stuff. Appreciate you guys. And uh, podcast out tomorrow. Podcast out tomorrow. Talking a little draft, too, and all this. How about that? Let's go Big Blue.